Hey guys, welcome back to the Land of the Fairs. I'm Sajuk and we're going into the end of the Middle Kingdom here. So in the previous part, if you watched that one in the playlist, we went to Het and conquered some enemies. But in today's part, we're going to conclude off the Middle Kingdom completely with the final mission, Bubastis, Egypt's Crown Jewel. And of course, this is a building mission, so it's probably going to be quite a building mission. Let's find out by going to Bubastis. Most royal pharaoh, with robust trade routes firmly in place, we should now show Egypt what success and wealth can bring. Bubastis provides a perfect location for such a city. We can protect our valuable trade routes to the east while paying homage to Bast, who has watched over Egypt. Bast's city should be like no other in Egypt. It should be as lovely as the lotus flower blooming forth with entertainment, schools, libraries, and places of worship. Its citizens should be well supplied with the finer things, including imported incense. When complete, Hubastis will be the jewel in the Twin Crowns. While you are building this glorious city, pay heed to the storm rising in the east. The thundering of horses' hooves are heard throughout Canaan and lightning-quick chariots are laying waste to all in their path. These formidable chariots, the likes of which have never been seen anywhere, are driven by the Hyksos warriors. Already, storm clouds have been spotted on the Egyptian horizon, and you should steel yourself against the impending danger. We are going to steal ourselves against the impending danger, but there's not going to be any invasions on this one, as the Bubasis is the city of Bast. Well, of course, it says Bast in it, but interesting map. Four palatial states. We actually need top level housing, and there is no population requirement. So basically, we have to provide a city that's stable to support four of these, and it could be any size. Now, you can see here the ratings are culture rating 85. That's actually the highest possible in any of the campaign missions. It's never any higher than that. Prospective rating of 85, Monument 50. I think there's a couple of large obelisks we need to build. And a Kingdom rating of 65. So, there's going to be no population required. We need four palatial estates. But if the population goes too high, we're going to have a real trouble meeting that culture rating. It's going to be an absolute shit fight for all these buildings. Like, entertainment, schools, libraries, places, just everything. We're going to have to spam buildings. Um, we're going to continue on hard mode. It's going to be a relatively easy mission, this one. Except for the palatial estates. Let's head to the city. Slow time down and pause and have a look around this lovely green map. So there's some trees here. There's some uh, meadow land in there. We can farm grain and flax. So that's useful. So we've got a food type. Uh, we can uh, fish, hunt and produce meat from straw. So we've actually got all four food types on this mission. We don't need to import anything. Which is actually very useful. But I'm just going to avoid cattle ranches. Uh, there's more than enough floodplain on this map. There's a bit here and quite a significant amount over here. And there's also just little bits of meadowland as well to support that. Uh, hunting is numerous. There's little bits of birds here and there. There's got a few birds there, a couple of birds there. And some over here. And there's also places for fishing boats up this top bit here. Plenty of places. Um, we have uh, not a lot of straight line coast though. So we're going to have to make sure we use it wisely. And of course, this is the city of Bast, so of course, Bast is the patron. It makes no sense for anyone else to be. So we're going to have to keep them all happy. What is the monuments we have to build, actually? Yeah, two large obelisks that we need. We might only need one, but we can only import granite. Um, I'm not going to cut down these trees to get to this land. There's no point. Uh, I could get enough farms along this bit and there as well. And of course, there's a little bit of metal land here as well. We've also got reeds. Uh, what other resources do we have? Woodcutter, clay pit, reeds, so we can produce... Clay, so we can produce pottery, uh, papyrus, and linen. The only thing we can't produce is um, uh, beer, which we have to import. Let's have a look at the trade partners. So we've got four trade partners. We're here at Bubastis. Um, actually, we've got five. Sorry, there's quite it down here. 1500 for luxury goods is very expensive. Another trade route comes up later, which makes the mission easier. So sells granite and copper. Last also sells granite and copper, both by land trade routes. So we could get 30 granite a year. Um, I believe that Wast's trading capacity goes up if you fulfill certain requests. But I'll come to that later. 
down here we've got eye can. They sell all the beer we're ever going to need, 4,000 a year. They do buy 4,000 wood. 1,750 is a lot. That's only one export. We're going to be relying on he. Because they sell gems and jewellery, which is a luxury good that we're going to need. But they buy pottery, linen, wood and papyrus. And all four of those we can produce. So we can sell a lot. So we can make linen, lots of wood, lots of papyrus. We can also make pottery for selling. So he is going to be our first trade partner. And in fact, we actually have to rely on these two trade partners for money. They're the only people that buy anything. The rest don't buy things. So we do need um, these two trade routes open. Anyway, we are going to need to open up pretty much all four of our Egyptian trade partners. Because um, Heck gives us jewellery. I can gives us beer. Wast and Soil gives us... Now, you don't really need both of them. Um, it just speeds up things by opening both. Uh, we're not going to need Puerit. I, I will explain later why we don't need Puerit. So, um, 10,000 starting funds. Um, I'm going to set up a housing block here. I'm not too sure what kind of house... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not too sure what housing blocks I'll go for, but we are going to go straight into pretty much anything. We're just going to go charging straight in into um, building the city. We've got 10,000, and like he, there are no rescue funds, so we've only got 10,000, but we can set up a hell of a lot of exports. Wood, papyrus, they're all going to get started. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, go build up a housing block, and I'll come back in once I've done it. Okay, so here's our first housing block, and I've decided I'm not going to go into pottery for exports, um, largely because um, it doesn't really sell for very much, it's only 105. Now, we can sell um, quite a bit of it, 2,500, but it's not going to pay off this. This is too expensive, so we are going to just focus on wood and papyrus, which are pretty much our main exports on this one. 160, 170, um, well, no, not 160, where is it? 165, 170, Linium will come up next because they're pretty much the top three exports on this map. Which is going to be good. And what I've got is I'm going to have a loop here which is going to have all of our industry. It'll probably start to sprawl down this way as well when we have houses here. What I've decided is I'm not going to have too many warships. We will need some of these uh, for a later request. Once that request is passed, I'll then just turn all of this into clay pit production or something. Uh, and then we can just mass produce clay. And what I'll do is I'll have little zones for all of the stuff that we're going to have. So we're going to have a housing block here, probably another one sort of right next to it, and then maybe another one over here, I'm not too sure, but we will need quite a few housing blocks. Um, music seems to have glitched, hopefully I'll be able to sort that, but that's okay. So we've got 8,000 uh, in the cash. Uh, once all this housing moves in, I'll uh, start to put down reed gatherers and start to uh, gather some of the reeds and then start producing papyrus. And then that will allow me to um, set up the wood export because we can sell a lot of wood but it's quite far away anyway. So yeah I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in once we started to export some stuff off to here. Okay it's near the end of the first year and we've pretty much got all of our industries set up. We didn't need to do too much at all. This is going quite well. We've got 10% unemployment which is fine. And look at all this papyrus that we've got to sell. Loads and loads of it. We've also got a bit of a wood industry start as well, which is going to help. We're not going to spend what money we have left to open up Het. Now, I could uh, give myself personal savings. There really is no point on that. The exports on this map are too numerous. Um, if I really need to, I will, but I don't think there's any much reason to do that. So we can sell off all this papyrus and um, the wood as well when we get a chance. I think the boat's coming from over here. I'm not too sure. Um, I've also got ahead to put down a couple of towers because these hippos are just strangling production, which doesn't help. And uh, I hope the reed gatherers don't decide to go all the way over there for that. Um, what I will probably do is just here, I will probably have a ferry landing just to allow me to get onto this island. It also gives me some space. Um, there's way more reeds on this centre island. Yes, yeah, so you see, I'm, some of them are oh, lumberjacks. Oh, they're all lumberjacks, okay, thing. So we've got, what's this, 1800 papyrus? I think by the next trade boat there'll be there'll be two trade boats that come through. That'll be the entire supply gone, pretty much. Um, weirdly, this is a water trade route, but the route is drawn like it's a land trade route. Maybe they walk it all the way up to here and then take a boat. I don't think that's valid, but I don't really care. Uh, this city is going to be really easy to sort. We've, we've got five years before any requests happen, so. We've got plenty of time to just work on everything, and we've got all the exports so easy, I mean it's... This is not a difficult mission, there's no invasions, and um, 
for the most part, we can just pretty much make anything we want. We've got 2,200 papyrus here, so this will buy up 1,100. And then the next boat will buy up 1,100. Look at all that lovely money. We could do that quite a number of times, and we will be able to just make an absolute shit ton of cash. So, with the export set up, money is no longer a concern. This is actually going to be a very easy mission, economically. The only challenge is really this um, estate school and the culture. Prosperity is not a problem because we can make enough money from everything that we have. Um, we will have to import gems from He later and start to import um, to make jewellery, but I will talk about that later when we get to that point because uh, it is a little bit of a trick that I can explain to you. I think I might have explained it to you before, but I will explain it to you again here because this is where it's needed. So yeah, we've got our exports going. There's no challenge left. We now can work on feeding the people, maybe even working on a bit of a flax industry as well because our unemployment is a bit high. Okay, so we've got our exports all pretty much watertight now. And over here I've gone ahead and put down as many farms as I can fit. Pretty good efficiency, I've managed to get 12 farms all the way along this. Now this amount of farms should support pretty much all of these housing blocks. Uh, in terms of linen production, I will probably have linen on the uh, the meadowlands here, can get quite a bit in. Um, if there's too much grain being produced here, I will just turn some of these into flax farms like these ones on the end. And that'll just help quite a bit. Uh, the palatial block, I'm going to put over here. Now, pretty much put it over here is makes sense because we could get three food types from this area. We could got grain. Uh, there's no birds here. But there's fish, grain, and I could probably just set up some meat for them. And I could set up all the other things like clay pits, flax, reeds and all that. And they could just be disconnected. The only thing they need is pretty much beer. But for the, the most part, this could be a disconnected little area. It is quite tight. Um, but that's okay. I've got to have to put down another block because we could just dump this block and get all our money back very quickly. We are just selling out everything. Uh, papyrus, wood, we're just going to sell as much as we can. Now, of course, the wood is rather far away from the source, uh, which means it will slow down a bit. Um, if it's not uh, producing as much, I will probably just put a whole load of woodcutters on this side, have it closer to the source, and then just have them walk a distance, which is fine. Or what I could do is to put a yard right here, accepting it and have a getting yard. But given that there's only going to be... I mean, we could sell 8,000 wood a year. There's no way that over two trade partners we could sell that much. So it really isn't a concern, to be honest. So we're going to start to feed one of these blocks. What's our unemployment like? No unemployment problems, that's not too bad. Uh, two of these should support all of that for now. We'll just stockpile the grain for now. So yeah, the city's going fine, there's not much to show, and we can just keep on going. Okay, so I think this uh, flood harvest on this mission is actually very short, uh, because the harvest comes in September, the floods come in September rather, and uh, it must be a very long growing season, because look at all these farms, there's 99%, 96, there's 100, 97, 94, I mean, half these are already full. I mean, one, two, pretty much all of these farms are going to produce basically 800 grain every single time because they're so close to the Nile and the flood season is very short. So that's going to help a lot with producing food. We're not going to have to worry so much about food, really. I think 10 farms will produce all the food we're ever going to need for this block. I mean, four of these farms, I mean, look, 100, 100, 100. I mean, these four farms alone are just going to fill up that yard straight away. Now, if I were to get a blessing from Osiris, two of them would fill us up because it would be double harvest if I got that blessing. So, really, on this map, food is not a concern. I mean, we've got eight of these. Nine are, nine out of ten are complete. I mean, look, 800, 800, 800, 800, 640. I mean, they're all maxed out. There is so much food potential on this map that... Really, I don't think we're going to have problems with um, food. As long as the floods are good, we should be fine. Uh, yeah, late September. I uh, notice we're actually producing too much papyrus. We can't sell anymore, which is fine. So we're going to feed this block down here first, because that just makes sense. I'll do beautification as well. We're back to 10,000, which is good. And um, so it's in September. I actually wanted to see when the floods come back up. Uh, collapse event. Oh, that just got destroyed. Have I put down an architect's post? I thought I did, but we'll 
put in one there and the little block there. Just to make sure they always spawn here. So we just lost a whole load of food that I didn't need to lose. But hey, it's fine. It's not like it's a big concern. Oh well, never mind. So the floods come in late September. We've got a lot of unemployment, which is going to be good. We can actually expand our industries and all that. We can actually just put down another warship, just in case we need them, which is okay. Let's just see. Right, so yeah, the growing season is basically November, well, late November to late September. That's basically 10 months. So these can max out extremely quickly. It's not going to be a concern. We can produce all the food we're ever going to need. So now it's time to work on industries. I think we can start to think about flax and all that. Maybe I'll put down the temple complex. I'm not too sure, but we're going to have no problems on this mission, I think. Okay, so we're starting to make our next push into boosting our city. We have set up a bit of a flax and linen industry, pretty much disconnected from the entire area. Now, I was thinking about exporting this. But given the way I've set it up over here, I don't think I will. Now, I could export it if I set up a yard closer here that gets uh, gets maximum linen. But then, of course, when I start to put down more trees, that export will have to cease. But we are making more than enough money off the pirate sales that I really don't think we need to bother with linen. And if necessary, I will have a big pottery industry here in any case, so that's not a concern. I think this papyrus industry will probably end up down here or over here. I'm not too sure where I'm going to put it because... Um, it's just, uh, I'm going to need this area for clay pits uh, later, which is not a big concern right now. But I will need the clay near the pottery and all that. Uh, we can make bricks, but no one buys it, so it's a complete waste, that industry. We don't need to bother with that. I can't put them down, but no, we don't need them if for anything. You can see I've put down a little bit of a crossing here. That allows you to get to some reeds over here. And of course the game birds, which is the most important thing. Um, I did have a lot of unemployment, so I just deleted a bunch of houses just to help. Um, obviously, this coming online has sort of scuppered that, but that's okay. Um, this is going to start turning up to maximum capacity over time anyway. Uh, I was thinking of putting this over here, but then it just created an all sorts of messy area. And it looks a lot nicer like this, having just a little contained little area like that. So yeah, money is not a problem. I will just come back in if anything of interest happens. We're making a lot of progress on this mission. Well, here's the first request in five years from starting the mission. In pursuit of a long-standing feud, Gaza and Egyptian cities under attack, and we need to send troops in 11 months. Um, small water board. So we've got three warships. We could just send that off right now, actually, because that will open up a trade route to Gaza which sells incense like um, when it does, but it's cheaper. So it's one of those events where it doesn't really matter if the trade route's open or not, it just makes the mission easier by it being open. Now you can see here I have two hunting lodges producing pretty much infinite game. I mean this one here is already maxing out, you can't deliver enough of it. So I've got one granite here which is going to get both food types. Um, if this starts to get problematic, um, I will move things around and uh, put another and one there, which will be fine. Um, it'll probably help when I move some of this out of the way, I'm not too sure. Uh, this is sort of in a bad place. I might uh, delete that yard. I'm not too sure I'm going to do it uh, right now. I am bringing linen over here from this bit. Uh, the reason for that is for now we don't need the linen and we can just export it. It might as well make us some more profit. Um, profit's not a problem anyway. I mean, we've got. We make like 6,000 in exports, we're not importing a thing, which actually helps. Because it's just a little bit of wages and a bit of light construction, we still make money anyway. Uh, I went ahead to put down a courthouse and just evolve this block as well. Um, I'm not too sure if all 10 farms is enough to provide all the food we need. We might need these two as well. Um, I will think about that over time. I might actually put down a bunch of land farms just sort of dotted along the edge here. I might just put down a few... Uh, just to help, or I might just uh, sort of zigzag um, farms into the spaces where there's uh, space to do it, and I might just, it may just help a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, for now, just stop piling the wood. We can't really get enough wood at a time to consider exporting it, and it sort of stuffs up papyrus trade. I'd rather you just bought all papyrus for now. That's worth more. Well, it's not worth more, but I, I can produce that in much more amounts. So yeah, I'll just come back out the troop, when, when the troops have come back from Gaza. Well, hey, would you look at that? Our troops are back from the war. 
And we can now trade with Gaza. That's the only trade route that opens on this mission. Let's just have a look at them. So we can get 4,000 incense for um, quite a significant amount less, a thousand demons less than the planet trade route. So it's just a case of they sell the exact same item as planet, you just get it cheaper. But we're not going to import anyway, so it doesn't. we're not importing luxury goods because that's really expensive. I mean, if we have a look at the trade prices here, luxury goods are like 310, that's ridiculous. Um, we can make that cheaper. Uh, money is dwindling. Unfortunately, unemployment is getting up there as well. Now, what I've done is just here, I've just spammed a bunch of uh, woodcutters to try and speed this up a little bit. And what I'll do is, once all of the wood is exported and these are empty, I will then... Um, Wood you are, damn. Um, I'm actually going to just not export wood for now. What I'm going to do is make hemp buy as much papyrus as it can. And once it's bought all papyrus for the year, um, I'll then make it buy all wood and then all linen. And then we should be able to drive our cash quite cleanly through the roof. We've got more than enough houses here. We've got two and a half thousand. Um, ooh. 1200 buckets of fish in 12 months. So this is a request that will boost granite. Uh, imports from WAST. So we're going to try and sort that now. We don't need any more of this. So let's just delete all of that. It is a waste. And uh, for now what I'm going to do is just stockpile fish. Let's do one, two, three, four. For now I'm just going to do a little indentations. This will mess up the roads a little bit which is unfortunate. But it has to be done. Uh, hopefully you'll go and get access to uh, things. In fact what I can do is sort of drag the road around like that, but that might make them go around in circles, which would not be very useful at all. Hmm, I should have prepared for that. I wasn't expecting it so quickly, but there we go. We've got a request. We'll try and fulfill it as quickly as we can. And I'm not too sure where I'm going to put this stuff, to be honest, but uh, I'll find a place. I um, might just put it across the, the water, to be honest. I'm not too sure where I'll put this, but it's okay. So yeah, we've got our first request. We're going to uh, fulfill that because it'll boost granite production. I can't put that there, which is unfortunate. Let's just put it here. This will do. So yeah, I'll go and make that request for um, fish. Hopefully. Um, let's just see, can I... Um, can I maybe zigzag this a little bit? I can, I think. Hey, look at that, we can just do that, a zigzag road, and all of them are touched, and we've not lost anything. That makes it even better. But I will uh, delete these fishing boats and move them up here when we're setting up a palatial block. For now you can just stockpile a bit of fish. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so we've got the fish in stockpile now, 1200 fish, just in the nick of time, we can just send that off. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and these four fishing boats. Um, the reason for that is because they're just in a really terrible place. And it's causing me to have to zigzag this road just to do that. And it's not really viable. I'd rather just set this whole area up for clay pits, you know. Because then I could just move some of these over and then we'll be fine. Now, I'm looking at my unemployment here. We have 15% unemployment. Now, there's no point trying to evolve these houses because we just can't do anything with them. So what I'm going to do is on this side here, we're going to set up our palatial block. Uh, I'm just going to do my normal manor block, but instead of having a free space, I'll have four spaces. Now hopefully I'll all be able to fit in. I will probably have the Dynasty Mansion over here as well. And um, while I'm planning, I'm going to have a dock right here. And we're going to have flax, and uh, we're going to have some flax production and linen production over here to support this. And any excess can be exported there. And I'll also import gems there, because we can import gems from here. So we can import a small amount of gems, make our own luxury goods, and then we won't need to worry so much about importing the luxury goods directly. And then on the other side of this little landmass right over here, we'll have food storage and production because we can have fishing wharfs and all that stuff over here. Um, we just can't really employ anyone at the moment. Um, we're also starting to sell some linen. Let's have a look. We've sold quite a bit, I think, but not enough over here to sell anymore, but that's okay. Uh, some of these reed, um, papyrus makers will get shifted down here, I think. Um, I might actually put down one, two, three, four, five. What I'm going to do is, uh, how much is stockpiling here? Uh, quite a bit. We can actually just sell wood as well. I think what I'll do is I'll wait until all the linen and papyrus sales have gone and then we will um, start to 
focus on the wood again and just get rid of it, just so I can get rid of some of this stockpile here. Of course the alternative is I just open up the trade route so I can start selling wood there, but I'll think about it. We've got loads of it stockpiling, so there is that to consider too. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set up a palatial block. It's not a manor block, it's going to be a palatial block. And I'll come back out once I've got it planned out. Okay, so here we've got our nice little palatial block. And I'm going to go for five palatials. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, there's not really any other spaces to put them down, but I thought I might as well make the block look at least a bit functional. So let's just put down uh, fire. Oh, that burnt down. I forgot to put down the things over here. Never mind. Um, just totally forgot about this here as I was trying to set it up and all that, you know. But that's okay. And that doesn't go down either. So let's just put that fire out as quickly as possible. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to have... I think we'll have maybe two granaries because there's a lot of food. And I might have a granary here at getting fish. And a couple of yards over here accepting grain and all that. Um, I'm going to try and maximise the amount of resources that we have. So we are going to make here clay, papyrus and linen so we don't have to get that across the city because there's no point. And anyway, this is only a connection. It doesn't actually have a employment. It's only migrants that can use it. Which will simplify things, but it does mean that our beer supply will have to be imported into multiple places, which is not very useful, but hopefully we won't have too many problems with that. We'll just accept fish there. We should get enough fish out of four wharfs. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Um, I'm also trying to get rid of some of the papyrus because we have too much and I want to get rid of some of these and replace them with potters which will be a lot more useful and start to move stuff down here. Once all of these woodcutters are empty too, I'll be able to move plenty of the wheat, uh, papyrus makers over here as well. I just need to export more wood. We have sold uh, 3,300 wood to Iken and only 300 wood to He. Not very useful but... Hopefully you'll be able to sort things out. We have a bit of a labour shortage, but that's not going to be too much of a concern right now. It's just all services being used up here, which is not helping, but that's okay. So at this point, I just need to sort of evolve this, which I can do in my own time. I don't really need to show you too much else. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep on going and continue with the progress of this culture, this city to bust. And before we do, here's another important request. Uh, 2,400 planks of wood to Iken every so often. Um, if you don't fulfill this, the amount of beer that you get from Iken drops. And this can actually make the mission unwinnable because if you don't fulfill this three times in a row, then uh, you run out of beer. But we have plenty in stockpiles, so that's going to be fine. Um, so we are going to uh, fulfill that every so often. Of course, if you already have 4,000, it doesn't do anything, but it does repeat every so often. And I just want to look at Wast. They are now selling two stone, uh, two shields worth of granite, which is going to help a lot. I might actually get to work on importing that granite. So for now, we're just going to keep on going with the city, start to evolve our palatial estate block, and work on other industries as well. I might even turn off linen for a while. So I'm just sort of running the city on here. We've got a little bit of an out of the blue request. Eight weapons in 18 months. Now, we should be able to do that. At the moment, I've just been speeding time up. Trying to get rid of all this timber because we have so much of it. I mean, um, most of these are actually running out now, which is exactly what I want. So let's just see. 75, 50. The one with 25 wood in it can just be deleted. The others can sort of use themselves up. So let's just go ahead and open up some additional trade routes. Here and here. I'll just open both of them. And we're going to import... Um, how many weapons was it? Eight, uh, eight weapons. Yeah, we'll just import the lot. Uh, where to put it? Um, we can actually just store eight, wep um, eight copper there for now. Just to make sure it gets accepted. So one, two, three. Um, I can also just quickly put this down to accept copper and weapons. And we're going to make sure that they get stockpiled because otherwise they'll go to the recruiter and that'll be a waste. So we'll just stockpile that resource. Now the, the traders coming in yet? Yeah they are. Okay so don't go here, go to here. So we should be able to meet that. Now what's our labour shortage like? 60 employees, not too bad. We still can't get rid of all this timber. But how much have we sold? Uh, we haven't sold enough to uh, yet. Icon's going backwards and forwards. I'm actually going to 
for now, destroy this dock. We just can't, it's just stuffing everything up a little bit at the point, at this point. Uh, these aren't working because there's no straw in the city, which is okay. Well, straw will come from here and that should be more than enough to support that. I'll work on these other things as well, that'll help as well. So yeah, I'll just go and meet that weapons request. That's the only out of the blue one, really. The rest are sort of predictable. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so I've just been sort of speeding along here, just trying to get the city stable. And we now have beer in this city. We've got 1600 here, which is going to be imported here. Um, we're also going to have to make sure this is set to 4800. Where is it? There. So we're going to have... I don't think we need that much here, to be honest. So let's just actually set it to a quarter and that'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is this yard here that was originally accepted, well, getting wood, is now going to be a beer accepted. We're going to import beer at two yards. Some here will be there. Um, and then we'll have a bunch over here. Now, hopefully not too much is used up here because that will cause a load of problems. Uh, got unemployment, which is good. Our assets have fallen down considerably, probably because of the excessive imports and not very many exports, which is fine. That's what we want to see. We're going to turn on the papyrus industry again. We might as well just sell linen while we've got it. Now over here we've already got two types of food and they're already straight up to spacious resins, which is going to be good. And we're going to have to import gems anyway, which is going to be a bit of a problem, but that's okay. In fact, what we can do is just set this to accept gems and we can import some gems from here. Let's just import to maintain 400. We don't really need too much here. Let's just do three of those. That's space for a little bit more there as well. So we'll import some gems. They are going to have to go backwards and forwards. I'd rather have this than um, having the whole city connected because it means these guys would have to wander all the way around the city trying to do stuff. Now if it becomes a bit of a problem later, I will do that. So don't worry. These are all just things I'm working in, right? Now over here I just dumped a few um, libraries just to get rid of some of the papyrus so I can replace them with potters which are going along quite nicely providing plenty of pottery to our citizens. Uh, they do need beer which we're going to now import from somewhere. It uh, looks as if you went there and then disappeared, which is a problem. I think what I might do is just uh, negate this dock and have the jewellery production somewhere else and just have getting. I think that's what I'm going to do uh, because it's not working the way I want it to. Um, but I'll, I'll have to look into that a bit more. Let's just see. Yeah, let's just leave that as is. You can just accept well, let's just set you to get a quarter. There. So I'm going to do the jewellery production down here. But I've sort of ran out of space. You know, I, I don't think it really matters. Uh, we can have 2,400 pottery here. We could just have gems imported there instead. Because pottery is an inert good, basically. It is only used in housing blocks to evolve them, and there's not an actual building that requires them. There are some buildings in the Cleopatra campaign missions that do, but for the most part, we don't need to worry about it here. So we're going to start to import um, through this one uh, trade dock, which I think will speed up things a bit. Uh, for now, we will... Uh... I'm still. I'm going to still continue to delib deliberate this because the way I've set up this city wasn't going to be for this, but it looks as if I might. You know, I'm just going to think about a load of things because there's so much to do on this map, and I'll just come back in later once something interesting happens. This is filled up fully, which is not very useful. Okay, so here we go. We've got some stately manners now to evolve. They are going to need a second type of luxury good. Now, the way this works is that um, to get a second luxury good, you have to import it. So one type that's considered local is jewellery. Now, even if you import um, gems or jewellery directly, that's still one type because that's considered one item. So to get the other type, you actually have to import it from a distant trade partner. Now, obviously, if you did defend Gaza, you wouldn't have Gaza as a trade route. So you would have planet. Now, both of them sell incense. So what we're going to do is we're just going to import uh, luxury goods from Gaza. We're just going to open that trade route. Now, we are not going to ever, ever, ever import luxury goods. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Overseer of Commerce and set this to import to maintain zero. 
Now, that means that none of these uh, luxury goods are ever going to appear in this city. We're never actually going to trade with Gaza. But it will consider that we have two types of luxury goods. So as soon as I come out of this, they evolve. And there you go. We've got, look, straight up to the palatial state. We've got them four straight away. And they're going to take forever to fill. But we've got four of them. And we're short like a shit ton of employees as well. And that's apparently affected by the mortuary, which is not too good. But um, in fact, what we can do is delete all of this. And um, what we can do is just sort of spam some statues in here. Uh, let's just do that. And then a couple of more. And there we go, it's evolved. There we go, five palatial estates. And I wonder how many people we can get into the city. 500. Now that'll be probably most of these. These hold up to 200. And um, so I'm probably going to need another housing block just here. I'll probably just destroy that tree later. And I'll set up another little common housing block. Because we are probably going to run into aging very soon. Yeah, look at this big wall here. Now you can see down here I am now importing the granite. We're going to have to do this twice over to get to... We're going to have to import 400 granite, basically. Which is going to be a bit of a problem, but that's okay. We are paying at higher wage rates. And uh, these manors, uh, these estates rather, are going to pay an absolute metric shit ton in cash. So we're not going to really need to import, export anything else now, which is going to be perfect. And that'll help massively with our city. So there we go, we've got the five palatial estates pretty easily, we've got about 5,000. But now the task is I need to meet these goals. Our prosperity is there, estates are there, uh, culture and kingdom are going to be easy to meet. We can actually just start sending gifts. In fact, let's, let's just do this, let's give... Uh, 10,000 of our savings to the city and um, I'll join you back when I've got it done. Okay, we're going to give 10,000 in free, but that's okay. Let's give that money to the city. Just gets rid of some of the savings. It'll also make these gifts cheaper. So we don't actually get kingdom rating boosts uh, on this one. There was only one request that gave a kingdom rating boost, which was the weapons request to He. So for the most part, I'm going to have to stockpile funds in my personal mansion and just give myself gifts once every 12 months to have the biggest effect to hit 50, uh, 65 uh, kingdom rating. Everything else is met apart from monuments, so I'll just come back in while I'm ready to put down the first large obelisk, and then after that I'm just going to work on culture and I'll tell you how difficult it is later. Okay, so I set up a last uh, little common housing block. It is going to cause real problems trying to get this culture up, but our prosperity is maxed still. I forgot about the gifts I have. Um, the reason that the prosperity dropped is because these estates lost access to a senate house and that's because this guy was spending more time getting beer than actually distributing it. So this actually ran out. It went to two, uh, 20 units and that won't spawn it. Which is a problem and as soon as these went down to I think it was Elegant Manor, the prosperity just nosedived. It went below, it was at 82 or something like that. Uh, we get plenty of taxation right? let's actually put that up to 17%. Uh, once this housing block is stable, it went a bit unstable because all of this started to burn down for no reason. Um, how much granite do we have in stockpile? We actually have 243, we've got way more than enough, which is going to be good. So let's put down the first granite obelisk right there. And what we can do is we can just put a stone mason over here because I did have... I did have a work camp but I've just moved it over there instead. So we've got the carpenter skill down and this. Um, you see how these built. Actually, I haven't really seen how they built. Well, I suppose you have. So I don't need to show them. Um, so I'm going to have one obelisk there and probably just another one in a random location that the guy can reach. Probably just down here. And once I've done that, I can delete all of this stuff and start to cut back on wood and all that. And just sort of stockpile it and not really export. We are not exporting anything anymore. But we still make money. A lot of it was just construction and um, stuff. But hopefully we can get ourselves back out of the hole and hopefully keep the city stable. So I'm just going to come back in when we're near the end of the mission. Unless um, the culture starts to give me the shits and I want to show you that. Okay, so we're starting to grow this city to, well, really just to support our insane culture requirements. Now you can see here, the culture is stuck at 70 because there's not enough zoos in the city. Now the one thing that Cleopatra adds... It adds a building called a zoo for anything above 70 culture. And it is available on Bubastis and Hetepsa Nusret, uh, just because of the culture rating. Now a zoo uh, covers 7,500. It doesn't actually need to pass it. It doesn't spawn a worker or anyone that needs to get access to it. It's just a culture thing. So we're just going to put it right there. Now this takes 30 workers. It requires gay meat and straw. Now we do have plenty of straw from grain farms. 
and we've got gaming over here, so that will satisfy culture requirements. There we go, it's got 30 employees. Now we just need to spam libraries. Now, library spam is probably one of the hardest because it's so annoying. Now, we've got plenty of meat in these things, so this should be fairly stable. Um, down here is where I could probably spam a load of libraries because it's going to be accessible. I don't really want to connect it to the papyrus supply. So what I'm going to do is, just here, I'm going to take a snippet out there and I'm going to delete that roadblock right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down a line right here. And this little line can basically be used for library spam. So let's just make sure these guys get access to that, they do. So let's do one, two, three, four. Now one thing to note is that building these things actually uses up papyrus. So um, you can see it's pretty much evaporated over here, which is unfortunate. But we put down four of these things, which take like 30 workers. Not helpful when you've got a massive labour shortage. We have built the first obelisk, and the second one is down here. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, how's that done our culture rating? Still more libraries. Uh, kingdom rating's gone down for some reason. Let's just send another gift. That's just top that off. So, um, I'm actually going to leave the libraries for now, because we do need to actually... Uh, build this. Now I have gone around pretty much anywhere I can spamming buildings, just anywhere. Over here we've got a bunch of uh, booths, over here we've got a bunch of bands, there's a couple of these. They don't actually have to work, but they do have to exist, and whoa! We've got the culture! I wasn't expecting to hit 85 with just this. It's probably some housing of devolved or something. Um, but we apparently have 85 culture rating and a massive labour shortage. We've still got like a whole load of people willing to come in. It's just trickling in too slowly. But there we go. There's Bubastus. Now all we have to do is let this mine build and hope that this doesn't collapse. So I'll come back in when we're near the completion of this obelisk. And the obelisk is nearly complete. And while it's completed, I'm just going to take a tour around the city. So... Look at these ratings, this is such a cultural city. We have apparently lost um, an elite house, that is because it needs another food type. It's just because it's starting to run out of meat, which is unfortunate. I hope that this can hold on for a bit longer. I don't think it will. Um, maybe I need to hunt over here. Actually, we could import chickpeas, can't we? No, we can't. We can't import any food types. That's unfortunate. Yep, there we go. It's gone. So, I'm going to have to hope that we can get enough meat to maybe stockpile it. What's it like down here? The meat supply is just shit. Um, what I can actually do is I think just put down a bunch of hunting lodges somewhere. Um, let's just put down one, two, um, let's put another one there. We could just have a yard here accepting gay meat and we can just bring that a bit closer. Uh, this is uh, full which is unfortunate. Um, let me just maybe set this to get a quarter of gamey and then we could just have you get that. That'd be much more useful because it looks as if we're going to just at the last minute fail because our um, houses have devolved. Now let's just check our um, monument here. It is almost complete. I'm just going to keep an eye on the palatial state so they don't... Um... So that's that complete. I don't need to show you that. Now we just need to get some food into these uh, houses. Now we've got a couple of um, hunting lodges here which should help. Take it out with some game meat, which is going to be useful. Um, not game meat, what am I talking about? They have taken some fish. Uh, we have met all ratings, we just actually need to let the monument complete properly. There we go, the monuments are done. Uh, I hope. Um, we just really need to wait for some game meat. What have you taken? You've taken fish, which is unfortunate. Let's take one final save. And hope that you can get some game meat. There you go, you take us some game meat. Now hopefully that doesn't end up in some of these houses, which will be very annoying if it does. Um, I'm actually going to put down the Bass Temple Complex while I've got an opportunity to do it. Let's just put it here, and that'll cause goods to be used up less. I should have put this down earlier, but I really don't care, to be honest. You've got meat. You've got game meat. There we go! Why?! <laughs> Oh dear, the culture's dropped. At the last minute, it, it does this all the time. Oh dear, well I'm going to have to find uh, a way of just quickly getting the culture up. 
Maybe I just destroy houses, but that's not really a very gaming way of doing it, is it? Let's just do a bunch of these. I'm actually just going to save after every time I do this. Does that help? Let's get access to housing. There we go! We've done it! We've done Bubastis! Just with a little bit of uh, juggler spam in the bottom. That was a culturalist city. It's actually quite difficult because there's no population requirement. But the culture rate is, uh, is sort of dependent on population. The higher the population, the more culture you need. But we just did it just short of 7,000. I think that's about the limit on this one, to be honest. If you go any higher, you'll struggle. Five palatials and a really culturist city. Let us proceed to end the Middle Kingdom. The gleaming city of Bobastus does credit to you, most capable pharaoh, and to all Egypt. Is that all you can say? I built this 85 culture city 100 prosperity, and all you can say is that it does credit to me? What about Bast? She's the one that's dedicated to it. Oh, I don't know. We had to build two large obelisks for god knows what reason. And we completed a, quite a short time span. I wasn't expecting to complete it that quickly on hard mode. So yep, yeah, that is the middle kingdom complete with Bastus. And uh, we're going to head into the new kingdom in the next mission. And it's a choice. If you want to head to commune, you can click the left hand card. Or if you want sorty, you can click the right hand card. But for me, Sajuk, that's going to be that. Thanks for watching. This has probably been a bit of a shorter video than normal. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.